After passing the Grand Pyramids of Giza at 9.30 a.m., they hit the road to Cairo, excited to reach our destination, Ein Sochne. The GPS says it will take two hours and a half, but the journey already feels special. We drive through Cairo and soon the desert and mountains stretch before us. It's like traveling through time. These mountains stand in for thousands, maybe even millions of years, make me feel part of something much bigger. I once watched a show on VI site history that said gold miners used to work in these very mountains. They would crush rocks, sift sand, and find tiny pieces of gold. Deeper in the mountains, some settlements are still in place, where over 5,000 years ago, gold miners lived and worked. Imagining their lives adds even more magic to this journey. I'm so excited for this adventure with my husband. Our apartment overlooks the sea and the view is breathtaking. Oh, what's that in the distance? Dolphins? A group of at least ten, maybe more, swimming so close to shore. It's my first time seeing dolphins this near. It feels like they have come just for us. Just witnessing them makes the trip worth it. If I could, I'd swim out to meet them. It's unforgettable. And seeing my husband so happy makes me love this moment even more. He adores the sea and all its wonders. This trip is already something I will never forget. And we've only just begun. We woke up early to watch the sunrise by the sea. It's a family tradition, and this trip was no exception. The fresh sea breeze and the sound of the waves fill the air. It's 6.41 a.m., and the sun is just starting to rise. The sky is painted in soft pink and orange tones, and the first rays of the sun are beautiful. Moments like this bring meaning to life. Just stop and feel the connection with the sea, the sun and nature around us. In this moment we are part of something greater. I'm holding the hand of my beloved husband and together we we'll watch the world come to life. The mountains glow in the morning light. Imagine, thousands of years ago, Egyptians may have stood on these same mountains, watching the same sunrise. After all these years, the sun still shines on the same mountains and sea, and life in the water hasn't changed. We've changed but nature remains timeless and powerful. Sometimes you just need to stop and feel part of this magnificent world. We spend the whole day enjoying the clear water, the sun and the peace. We laughed, played, collected seashells and simply enjoyed life together.
My husband took me to a restaurant by the sea in the evening. We didn't order dinner, just juices and a traditional pie with honey and cream. I sat by the sea while we waited for our order. At night the sea becomes mysterious and restless, and the sound of the waves is mesmerizing. In moments like this it feels like the whole world is still. I could sit there for hours, just listening to the sea. In the distance the lights of ships flicker. Stars fill the sky, and there is nothing but the sound of the sea. Wrapped in my husband's arms, I close my eyes and drift into peace. We're on our way to a fish market, one of many along the road. Here you can choose your fish and the vendors cook it for you. While we waited for our order, I saw a pelican, a beautiful wild bird tied by its leg. It was my first time seeing a pelican up close. I felt sad such a magnificent creature shouldn't be tied down for entertainment. Hello. Across from the market, I noticed a quiet, untouched beach. The water was crystal clear and sparkled in the sun. It's so beautiful. My husband and I sat on the shore of the Red Sea, enjoying the moment while waiting for our fresh grilled fish. I was so hungry that I forgot to take a picture of our meal. After eating, we rested a bit, then went for a walk to watch the sunset together. It's 6.45 p.m. and the sun is just about to set. The sea has grown darker, but the water is still warm. People have come for one last swim before the sunset. My husband gently holds my hand as we lie together, enjoying the sea breeze and the beautiful, calming view. This is our last sunset by the Red Sea. With our eyes closed, we listen to the sound of the waves, becoming one with nature. This moment feels so romantic. Here I am with my beloved man watching the sunset and nothing else matters. Just us and the stunning sunset over the Red Sea. It's a perfect end to a romantic evening. The next morning we find ourselves on the way to Cairo and my heart feels heavy. Our romantic adventures coming to a close. It's 8 a.m. and as I gaze out the taxi window for the last time, I'm mesmerized by the beauty of the Red Sea. With a soft sigh, I whisper, goodbye magnificent Red Sea. Thank you for three unforgettable days filled with love and laughter alongside my beloved husband. Each wave that kisses the shore feels like a cherished memory we created together. Next year I promise to return. I miss the feeling of walking along the beach watching a beautiful sunrise full of hope and ending the day in romance as the sun sets behind the mountains in Ein Sechne. 
as we drive away, I hold on to the promise of those beautiful moments yet to come, eager for the day when I can experience the magic of the Red Sea once more. Oh,